I grew up in a, a little town called Australind and I loved the water more than anything. There was something about it. I enjoyed just being, you know, seeing the waves. Every wave was different. The ocean always looked different every day. I was lucky enough that Dad, he kind of educated us in a way that I've never really been educated before. A lot of respect for the environment and, and I think we've adapted that and then actioned in it in our own life. I start in um, Bremer Bay in very early January. We see a whole host of different wildlife while we're out there. We're still really learning what species come through that region. Only a few years ago we saw our first blue whales come through. Killer whales, longfin pilot whales feeding on squid and fish. We start moving the vessel around to Augusta, Cape Lewin, where we start the northern migration of humpback whales. 35,000 humpback whales migrate through that bay. This is one of the perfect locations to do whale watching. What's really unique is how close to the coast they come, literally 50 to 100 metres off the coast and seeing uh, very young calves coming through. Increasing numbers of pygmy and true blue whales that are frequenting this location and groups of up to 10 and to see that it's really special and we're not aware that it happens anywhere else on the globe. One of the things that really blew me away and it's from the first day I went out with David Riggs is seeing uh, a beaked whale predation that we saw the hunts and, and the kills. These animals need to eat 5% of their body weight a day. Seeing them read the animals in full stealth hunt mode, they're listening, they can, they can hear the whales coming through the canyon systems and then they will spread out along kind of like six or seven animals in a row, 50 to 60 metres apart, listening and picking up the acoustics and then the hunt's on. Birds are, are pretty much uh, on top of them, so eyes in the sky and then uh, you get there and it's essentially pretty gruesome. I mean, it's not for everyone seeing killer whales hunt down a living wild animal and feeding, you know, multiple families, but it's how these animals survive. I remember such a special day being out there with one of the passengers and I was just standing standing next to her and we were just talking about how beautiful the sky was and this killer whale, a metre from the boat, a metre and a half from us, just come up and spy hopped and looked straight into our eyes, opened its mouth probably about 20 centimetres and just slowly sunk in and she absolutely burst into tears. The feeling that you get when you see any wild animal in their own environment look straight into your eyes is, is not parallel with anything on the planet. Seeing wild 30, 40 ton animals swimming around the boat, peck slapping, laying on their stomach, you know, kind of nearly nudging the boat, they're so engaged and actually viewing you for what you are, maybe trying to work out who you are. We want everyone to be educated more when they get off the boat than when they arrived. So every individual person that jumps on our boat can be a scientist for the day and they can provide imagery, dorsal fin shots or eye patches to universities that create these catalogues so we can get some better information on what is happening in our oceans and what is frequenting our coastline. And I've just got a, a, a very high respect for where we live and how pristine the waters and, and the coastline is and I want that to stay the same for generations and generations to come.